Hello everyone, this is Tilbram from UGAMP iGEM Teams and now we will start with our first tutorial on the series From Sequences to Singularity. What will we do? We will look up some sequences directly from the web. So you will need this first uh, notebook, the one get sequences. And first of all, you will set your working directory. How do you do that? You use the import OS, so you use the OS uh, module from Python, and you say working directory is os.getcwd. And then you can print your directory, and it will be printed like a path to your directory. So first of all, we will get some sequences from GenBank. The only thing you need is an accession number from GenBank. So for, because maybe it's your first BioPython um, script, so first you need to install BioPython using this only line of code. And then you introduce sec.io and entree from the BioPython package. You provide an email address. You can use this one, it's completely fine. And then you use the entree efetch um, command to retrieve the sequence. So you know that it's a nucleotide sequence, so you choose DB is a nucleotide, the nucleotide database. You will retrieve from GenBank as a text and the ID. The accession number is this one. Then you use uh, for record in SecIO parse, because you want to take out that one record that you ask. And then you can print the description and the sequence of the record, and you can save those as a string, so like a text, as nuke underscore des and nuke underscore seek. And, you get, and then you get this one, description and the nucleotide sequence. So we want to save this fast stuff right now. How do we do that? We, we say f is open be isolate.txt. That's a new txt file that we make. And we provide here w plus. That means that we will write a new file. Then what do we write? We write a new FASTA file. So first of all, the FASTA file symbol plus the description plus a new line plus the nucleotide sequence and you finish with a new line as well. And then we say f.close to close the txt file and then there will appear a new file in your folder and that will be the beisolate.txt and this is exactly what is here. So we can do the same for a protein sequence. When you use this code, it's exactly the same code as before, only you have to change two things. First of all, you have to take an accession number for protein sequence, and you have to choose databases protein, because you're looking for a protein sequence. And then to save the FASTA file, you can just use the same code as before. And then also, this file surface glycoprotein will appear in your uh, folder as you. Okay, and then to finish, we can also retrieve uh, sequences from Ensemble, but then we need the Ensemble REST package because BioPython cannot do this. This code is a slightly different one. So first of all, you, uh, you import the package, and then you say, okay, I will call my my sequence TCN1, that's a G that we uh, search for. So we say ensemble rest dot sequence ID. We put the accession number between. And then we say the sequence is TCN1.get. So we get something out of this TCN1 object. What the sequence and then the description as well. Then we can use this line to print the description and sequence like this. Now we can also save the sequence as a FASTA file. If you execute this code, you will also get a txt file with the complete sequence and a description. So this was the first tutorial. Uh, we hope to see you soon for the second one.